first of the two, my instrument panel was reading Titan Gas Cap. And then another time, the engine light is on again. A few days later, it goes back out. A week later, it comes back on. A few days later, it goes back out. Okay. I already changed the upstream oxygen sensor. I'm thinking, well, let me go ahead and replace the downstream sensor that's located by the um, catalytic converter. But I wasn't in the mood. And when it said tighten your gas cap, I went out and tightened my gas cap. And I'm driving another day, it's in tighten your gas cap. I thought, well, I just need another gas cap. I didn't want to buy another gas cap. What is it about the gas cap that I need to buy? I took it off and looked inside and there is a rubber gasket. Okay, I think my problem solved it. If I replace the gasket or do something to um, get the gasket to work better, what could I do? I thought about some um, putting some silicone around there or some gasket maker or something. Maybe that would help. And then I thought, what if I take a piece of rubber from, from a tire inner tube, take my gasket out, put the rubber behind it, would that help? I did that. As soon as I drove off, the light went out. And that instrument panel reading, tighten your gas cap, never came back on. I thought, bam, that's it, at least for this situation. This PO446, I had my code reader. I already knew about that code. I put my code reader on. It, it kept reading the same thing, PO446. I didn't use it this time, but I, I figured it has to be the same. It's just going on. Um, checking the canister. I thought, well, let me see if I can hack my gas cap. And when I did, it was over. No more engine light, no more reading, tighten your gas cap. This works fine for me this time. And the gas cap was the issue. Maybe the gas cap was the issue the whole time. I don't know. All I know is when I did this hack, everything was fine. And virtually too. Hacking my PO446 code through my gas cap. PO446, part three, virtually two.